Did you think he was gonna kill you? If you wanna hurt somebody, you could hurt me. I said, and if you're gonna stab me, you better stab me now until, uh, before this bus stops. A man threatened with a knife on an RTC bus by a now accused killer speaking exclusively with our 8 News Now investigators. And that passenger and the bus driver were able to get help. But as our 8 News Now investigators have uncovered, that simply was not enough. The suspect later deemed low risk and released from custody without having to pay any bail. Ten days later, he was booked for murder. 8 News Now investigator David Charns with that man's story, finding out the man accused of threatening him allegedly murdered another passenger. David? Denise and Brian, the 8 News Now investigators obtaining this surveillance video, which police say shows Aaron Cole right there in the middle, standing up with a knife in his hand and then threatening, threatening that is, the passenger you see there, sort of the orange in this video. Days later, Cole would face a new charge of murder. And that's the thing that you have to live with, the reality of, like, that could have been you. Abraham Guerrero says he's lucky to be alive. The bus arrives and I get on there. That ride on February 16th was normal until Guerrero says another passenger started yelling at a woman and her children. So I, I took initiative and said, look, man, you need to calm down. You need to stop disrespecting her in front of her children. She hasn't done anything to you. That's Guerrero's voice in this surveillance video. Hey. Hey. That other rider, 59-year-old Aaron Cole, then stands up and pulls a knife. Guerrero steps back as other passengers move away. What was your reaction when you saw that knife? I said, oh, damn, <laughs> what did I just do? I had my backpack, and if he came lunging at me, I could use it as a, per, uh, as a, as a shield. Video shows the driver stopping the bus. He then alerts dispatchers and waits for police. Do you think you prevented a murder on the bus well, that of day? Of course, of course. After, you know, seeing the way he reacted, they didn't take anything to get him to react to and get angry. Officers would arrest Cole, who they would learn served 23 years in a Texas prison for attempted murder. But a few days after this threat, a Las Vegas judge released Cole without having him pay any bail. Cole's pretrial risk assessment, pieces of paper to inform judges of an offender's potential risk to reoffend, deeming him low risk. Nobody's gonna pull out a knife if they're not gonna act on it. 10 days later, police say Aaron Cole was back on the bus when he got into an argument with 30-year-old Dominique Lucas. This time, detectives say he acted on his anger. Cole accused of stabbing Lucas 33 times. It never happened. Now Guerrero, a construction worker and house cleaner whose only option is to take the bus, says he could have been Cole's victim. You feel trapped when he pulled the knife on me. You know, it's... It's just you and him and whoever else is on the bus. Guerrero made it off the bus alive, but he now questions his safety every ride. And he wonders why the man suspected of threatening violence. Never know who's going to get on the bus. Made it back on board, armed with a knife, only to face new charges. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's very sad that someone had to lose their life because of this, you know, because of what, what happened. Aaron Cole has pleaded not guilty, and he did decline our interview request. We're bringing you this story the same day that sources confirmed to the 8 News investigators a bus supervisor was stabbed just last week. This happened last Monday at the Bonville Transit Center downtown. A man stabbing that bus supervisor quickly arrested, but no public agency said anything about this until we reported this today. Supervisor works for one of the company's RTC contracts with to provide us bus service. Spokesperson for that company praising the supervisor for his actions, saying he's recovering well. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now.